I had to go refill my little dog bowl. <laughs> I'm looking looking back at my logs and seeing me trying to remember what the, the command for the wolf was. Just sitting there going, ah woo, into the void. <laughs> Folks, bear with me just a moment. We might actually have a uh, collab stream starting up here in just a moment. I'm figuring out what we're doing logistically.
All right, we're gonna nuke that that little timer there for the moment. Um, yeah, so today's normally a day that I would actually be doing collab stuff, um, and then I do a fallback into my other community gaming, variety gaming, that kind of deal. What my plans were were to do Metroid, but uh, we might have somebody that's got time. I'm not entirely sure. It might be later on in the stream. We'll we'll figure that out, but uh, bear with me, folks. That little pause worked out for me as well because I got a chance to eat some of this leftover curry from tonight's dinner with Milky Taro. That was absolutely wonderful. My tongue is on fire and I'm loving it. I uh, also made some like black tea earlier in the day. It's just been chilling out, getting really nice and steeped all day. All right. So it looks like we're still going to be doing Metroid, <clears throat> and we will have folks potentially drop in, maybe, maybe not, later on to at least do commentary. And if not, you know, it'll be fine. We got we got our own game to do here, and it'll be plenty of fun. We also got plenty of other games that I can also play. <clears throat> I would not be opposed to just running through the entirety of the Metroid series. <laughs> Okay, let's switch over a couple things here. Bup, 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 bup. Turn off that video. Go over here, because this is loud as hell. Turn that down. So I can hear myself think. And go over here. To Puppy Gamer. And we hope. And hope and hope and hope that <laughs> Metroid wants to work with me. Oh, hey, it would help if I actually launched the correct software, because that's not it. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. beautiful i love the series i love this game this game specifically is such a sweet love letter to just the entirety of the series as a whole the characters the background the the universe that they're in like it feels correct it is a fan game but it feels correct as though like if this person this team that put all this together could have been paid to to uh, do this as an official official second Metroid, and like Team Ninja hadn't been given the reins, I could easily see it being a thing. Hey there, Bucky. Hey there, Yellow Cat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I I love this game. We're already a decent way into it too. Thirty-one percent. Wow, I didn't realize that. I haven't even, like, 
I've just been kind of floating from place to place. Let's see here. All that's still a thing. I still don't know what's up with that notification that I'm supposed to go to that spot, because, like, I don't have the thing. You're scattered. Fracture, you are here too, promise. Oh, wait, well, I should go in there as well. Give me just a moment. I realize I'm not even in that room. <laughs> uh, bup, 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 stream voice. Okay. There. Oh, you're here in chat, gotcha. Well, I guess I'll, I'll get jump scared by you later. <laughs> At least I didn't try what you did. What did you try? I'm I'm curious now. Okay. Uh wait a sec. Oh, I have to relearn all the controls I was using for this before. Okay. Oh, that's not it. I do need to change that. Oh, God. Control, uh, missile select, no, hold. That's been really getting me into trouble. Classic morph ball, sure. Spider ball, toggle, yeah. Climb, sure. Morph, yeah. Okay. Hard fusion mode. What is hard fusion? Oh! Oh, that's one of the dip. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> What does that do for the, the difficulty in the game? Like, uh, how does that rearrange stuff? Also, my own VTuber is blocking a good portion of the, the action here. Let's get her moved. Oh, that might be a bit too far. What if we just do this? That's better. I think. We'll scoot back over here. <laughs> uh, OBS. Twitch. And AM2R. Okay. Ah! Okay, so when I did this last time, yeah, hmm, there's one Metroid left and I'm trying to figure out where I left it. There's also something there. So wait a sec, if I go over there... Is there... I was gonna say, is there even anything there? I don't think there is. And we already defeated the Metroid over there too, so... Let's see. You gotta be really good. Hard changes the AI and attacks of the enemies. They do four times the damage when you activate fusion mode. You take extra four times damage on top of that and can only heal by killing cloned S X parasites. That cloned X parasites. That is wild. I might actually have to try that. That sounds like a really fun like post game extra challenge if I'm looking for uh, another run through on this. What is it about this room? Oh. That's not that. I haven't seen anyone play this game in a while. We just did uh, Metroid Zero Mission last stream and played through the entirety of that in one session. 
We need to get 100% collectibles first, though. Oh, so I really have to, like, master this version of the game first in order to do that. That sounds like a fun challenge. I might do that off stream and then try the challenge on stream just to like grind my face against the wall for a little while on camera. Let's see. I guess I just need to go back to the west, see what I can find. Uh. Wait a sec. Okay, so that was that thing. Hmm. Or you can just put in the cheat codes. Nah. I'm... I like the idea of challenging myself on purpose with a challenge, like, built into the game. That sounds fun. I'm that lady. Okay. Oh, right. Because this just goes up here. And then that's... I would need the power bomb for her. Under those conditions, even the lowliest enemies can nearly one-hit you. That makes sense. Uh, if I go back up to the ship, I don't think I'm going to find anything of use. Wouldn't be bad to at least go there, though. It's been a minute. Never know what you'll find. Maybe the high jump will take me somewhere I couldn't go before. Yeah, I can definitely see how, like, my current playstyle uh, would not match that very well. Watching me just bouncing my face off of nearly everything in the room. Mmm, <laughs> free healing. Tasty. <laughs> uh. The illustrious drill face. Hmm. Those things that the X parasites eat. Stick to wall and travel. Wait a sec. Okay. These graphics are an absolute delight. So this is uh, a fan-made remake of uh, Metroid 2 for the Game Boy. Not the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy. <laughs> oh, you can't save with your ship? That's interesting. There's something about this one that, like, the graphics remind me of the original will be replaced by them, especially bosses. Oh, wow. Um, something about the graphics in this remind me a lot of, uh, Duke Nukem. Hmm. Like, the way that the bombs and missiles are animated.
this. The music in this is so chill. They use the engine style for Metroid Fusion slash Zero Mission. It is the engine style, yes, but the character height on this is very different. She's much more lanky. Never played this, so you don't know that it isn't the original. Would not have guessed. Yeah, it feels enough like an original. That's part of why I love AM2R as much as I do. I will uh, have to toss you a link to the fan project so you can try this one out for yourself, because it's it's a blast. It's a good way to, to burn three hours. <laughs> I love how mobile the ball is in this version of the game. It's likely why Nintendo nuked it. Yeah. Well, Nintendo nuked it. It's actually one of the, the very last cease and desist that they ever sent. Um, the team that was working on this happened to release it just before Team Ninja finished the work on the new Metroid 2 Return of Samus. The ball is actually faster than running on this one, yeah. It's not normally, it's supposed to be the same speed, but in this one it's actually got like... This This is speedrun tech and it's really funny. <laughs> Oh, my alarm's going off. They got roasted for it, too. Yeah. Oh, what's over here that I didn't get to? Ow. I see. How did I do this last time? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to. I don't need to burn the time doing advanced movement techniques. I found myself spending so much time in Metroid Dread doing exactly that. Just like, I'm gonna... I know that I can physically do this. I have the dexterity too. It's just gonna take me a few tries. And I'll just sit there for an hour doing the exact same movement over and over trying to get it. one of those different I refuse to wait for super jump <laughs> advanced movement techniques all the way <laughs> uh, let's see still looking over that way okay Bad at platforms, you get stuck and get mad, your performance gets worse, then it's over. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. The methodical puppy method of digging. We dig everything. Oh no! Ugh. No! <laughs> uh. 
Okay, nothing there then. Dig, 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 dig. Yep, exactly. We digging. We diggy diggy pup. Not finding anything on the ground, so we have to do the less fun ceiling scans. Nothing there. Ugh. Nothing there either. Hmm. So we need to figure out how to get down to there. And to there. And to there. That takes us... Oh. Maps. Maps. I've wasted so much time this episode just running back and forth doing nothing. <laughs> Uh. Okay, so from here... Never have to deal with those again. Okay, so this says... This says... I see. I see. I didn't see you before. That takes me here. And this takes me here. But that just takes me here. Hmm. There are only a few elements that betray a deeper power. I see. And I don't know where that other Metroid is. It must be like right up. Oh, there's, there it is. Okay, I see the room. I'm messing around with stuff like way before I'm supposed to, it looks like. Whoa. Hello. Ow.
Wait, what? The, the door, the, the door, the door, the door, the door. Huh? Uh, hmm. Oh. Oh. That's not it. That's just that. Good to see you, Blue Gender. I love Metroid 2. It's one of my first action platformers. I'm a little lost as to like where I'm supposed to go from where I'm at right now. This is one of the inherent issues with Metroid 2 specifically. And it's really funny that I'm running across the exact same issue in a remake. Well, let's see. Anything here? No? Hmm. How then would I... Well, I guess for now I can go up here and then drop down so I can at least pick up the, the surface area for this. Still missing something, though. And I'm wondering if it's like... Okay, so there's nothing there. am I missing here? There must be a second one inside that other room then. Because it's the only other room that I can't get into. It's that or drop into the water. And I don't think that's a solution. I don't think it's ever been a solution in any of the Metroids. Like, yes, you can get around by doing it, but it's never recommended. Huh. <sighs> Only ever played the Prime games, but still like the aesthetic. That's totally valid. I would definitely say that uh, AM2R is much more heavily influenced by the Prime games because uh, besides Dread and... Was Zero Mission after the Prime games? I can't remember. Or, like, I know that chronologically it's not, but uh, in development at least. Okay, this is that room. I can't break through the floor here or anything. It was after. Okay. Interesting. We did fight a beta or a gamma. Okay. I'm gonna stop using that for a moment. <sighs> that's it. That's that's the whole area. Yeah, you guys are just doing your own thing here. Never played Dread, but you want to. Dread is interesting, and I didn't get a chance to play uh, the Team Ninja second Metroid, and I would love to at some point because the. Um, the combat parrying system that they added in is basically like it's it's a they're they're using the combat mechanics from Super Smash Brothers but built into the the Metroid game so you can actually physically fend things off and in Metroid Dread that becomes a mechanic of if you are really really good at timing we're talking like tens of milliseconds at time at at uh at being able to get your timing down on a button press, then you can actually, like, fend off some of the biggest monsters in the game. And that is amazing to me, that if you've got the sheer raw skill, you can do it.
Omega spoiled. <laughs> and Dread's a good one. Uh, my only complaint for it was that it, it feels even shorter than the other games, even though they're all designed to be beaten in, like, that, that three-hour window. Okay, what am I missing here? What on earth am I missing here? I'm like, is there a second one that spawns in an area? Where's the other Metroid? <sighs> and I'm still having that that issue with the. Uh... Oh, delete marker. Was that my fault the entire time? I think that was. I'm brilliant. I am, I am the smart. So how do I get into that little block puzzle room full of the various hydraulic pressures? Or, alternatively, how do I get into that room that is a silver door? Do I just have to kill everything in the room? Is that, that's usually what that means. Sometimes it means I have to press a different button or... Ugh. Oh. I also don't know how to activate these. Still can't open that. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna try sinking then. Maybe that's the bizarre solution here. I love the weird sludgy movement of the armor. Okay, well, I figured it out. It really was just drop into the water. Arguably the best way to experience that game. Uh, I mean, it's, it's certainly a way to experience the game. They... Uh, I look forward to playing Super Metroid on stream as soon as I finish this one. We'll, we'll, we'll put it that way. Oh, hey there! I f*** you! Here! You're so friendly and cuddly. Hello, hi, hi, hello, goodbye. Uh huh. The plunk noise. Every time that I uh, hit the water is good. Good sound. Good audio engineering. Oh no. Uh. Ah. We're, we're just going to struggle, huh? Oh, this is definitely not the way I want to go. I'm 
trying to go over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I also honestly expected one of those to be a drop-off. Here we go! It's interesting that the water doesn't like come rushing out at you. Oh, I see. Interesting. Whoa! Whoa! It's you! I like you. Ba-da, 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 da, ba -da, da Consume all the eggs. Become the trans icon we all need. <laughs> all right, man. We scloop and we gloop. What? Okay, so where to next from there then? I guess over to the lava. Okay. And to the nearest safe point that I can find. Time for you to go to lurk mode. Actually up super late. Time to turn in circles and lay down. Have a lovely nap. Have a lovely sleep if it's the end of your evening. And uh, thank you for dropping by. It's always good to have you. Thank you. Will do. Scanning environment. Ten Metroids located. All right. Any new information? Nope. Okay. New save point. And also going to take a bite of my food.
I hope you folks are enjoying this so far. Whoa, what do we got here? Nothing? Alright. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what is this Minecraft climbing mechanic? That's an interesting way to use that. We got space jump. We can do this now. Oh, that looks so fun. All of the mobility functions. None of the speed boost. Oh, oh, it's time to fight you. It's time to fight you. Yeah, yeah. You gonna throw stuff at me? Oh, you got cool looking armor. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Torizo. Analysis of this sentinel shows evidence of unknown organic tissue, most of it concentrated in the torso region. The Torizo's armor plating is light enough to give it great mobility, but also leaves it vulnerable to standard weapons. According to Chozo history, the construction of such advanced types of sentries was performed exclusively by the most gifted. Created with biological matter and mechanical components, this makes it difficult to reliably calculate its combat abilities. Alright, here we go. Whoop. Gross! Ow! Oh. What?
Nice. Got the space jump, and we beat a cool boss. Now we can go wherever we want vertically. It just takes a while. But it's a lot faster than the, the spider ball. That's for damn sure. Scanning environment. New log entry. The industrial complex. This factory resembles worker drones, which are tasked with supplying SRS Radiate's facilities with replacement parts that keep them running autonomously. The time has left its mark. The machines have left it intact. Some combat drones are also constructed here. Robotic workers are malfunctioning and show signs of aggression. Oh, right. Uh, wait, no. Hello. I tend to forget that they actually made it so that concussive damage deals additional damage to uh, mechanicals versus organics. Spazer. Beams now have a wider range. I like the spazer, it looks cool. I want to see, I'm curious, if I go into my armor here... It, it is still those, that's fun! Okay, I, I just had to see.
Ow. Ow. I didn't know that was a thing you could do. What the hell? Screw you, man. Oh, wait. Whoa. Hey, hi. Hello. Interesting. What a fun way of hinting that beam there. Ah, super missiles. I do like those. Okay, that covers all the top. Looks like we got most of the power-ups that were available there until we can get the speed boost. Time to head back. It's always interesting what, like, additional powers you'll gain over the course of going to a new zone. Super missiles again. Okay. What's over here? Ah, well, it's safe. Oh, okay. Blue can't go there yet. Got it. Moving on. Wait, I still needed something else for this. What did I need? Yeah. That's all for that. So, where else? Uh, what if I go left instead? What else may have unlocked with the spacer? Or further over that way, maybe? What was up there? I needed to be able to jump. Yeah, let's go to that thing I couldn't jump to before. Maybe I can now. Ah. No. Hate this. There we go. Nope, lava there as well. But we can still try the space jump thing that we were going to over here. Ugh, that is not comfortable. Okay. Um, 
maybe? Bloody mosquitoes! Sorry. Dealing with some physical air bugs in comparison to virtual. Gonna take a bit, but we're gonna get all of the map. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but if you look in the upper right, you can see me slowly traveling across all the map pixels. Okay, that's all of those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we gotta go see if that one door is open. Other than that, I don't see. That one's a green. Hmm. Yeah, better hope that, that silver door is something useful. This is certainly faster than the previous method of scaling vertically, though. Non stop exploration. Well, let's get a refill. Oh, it does save the game there. I just didn't see it before. What if become orb? What if so perfection become orb? Damn the times. We are orb. This is orb stream now. Wouldn't you like to abandon your lines and become orb? Okay, this takes us back down here. Which... What was over there? Oh, orange door. Can't go through orange door either. Got the missile from that. Oh, never noticed that before. I wonder if that one comes back. Ow. That all goes over to there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh. 
still just a silver door. No different. No different. What? What? Where am I supposed to go? That just takes me through that little spiral. I feel bad for that one, like, much, much more uh, professional player of this that was watching earlier. It's like, oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> they are probably losing their mind trying to watch me uh, fail at finding where to go next. We even go even the more the low. Can I handle this? Kind of. Am I supposed to handle this? No, there's a rock there. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Woo! That was kind of sketchy for a second there. Also, large rock over there. Safe station. Give me health. Uh. Okay. Those are, those are nukes. Ah, super missiles, whatever they're called in this game. Okay. Please delete that marker. Thank you. What am I supposed to be doing? Somewhere around here is the means of production. <laughs> uh, the means by which I'll be able to do speed boost, but we're not there yet. I don't know where this thing is. Try and go back over there, I guess. Hmm. 
Hmm. That requires a speed boost. And then down here required what? That required a speed boost that direction, and this required a speed boost this direction, didn't it? I'm just forgetting things at this point. Uh huh. Okay. There's no way. There's nothing that hints at there being a spot in the ceiling either. Okay. God, I hate those things. supposed to do here? I hate this part of this game. This, it's the one thing that like, I, I really dislike about the second Metroid thematically is not knowing where to go next in a way that makes it really difficult to like even stumble your way into the next location and what's interesting is they've managed to expand the map like there's way more here than there was in the original game boy version and yet they still ended up even with the the opportunity to correct the map or or make any thematic changes to make it more approachable they kind of stuck to their guns on it and like for better or for worse you, you could say that it, it's it's more authentic but like for me it's just incredibly frustrating i don't hmm just spent an hour trying to figure out where to go in this area you're in right now stumbled into it on accident yeah that's what it, that's how it feels every single time in this one um it's not a good feeling.
Ah, uh, here we go. Did I just miss a thing? I did. Okay. I think I know where to go. I don't know if it's the right spot, but I think I know where I'm going now. I was like, did a game bug out? It's telling me to go here, but he cleared that out. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm like having that moment to, if, if I were uh, industrious enough with the bomb scanning method in this, I would have found the thing by now, but I hate doing that. I'm just going to use a space jump. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel genuine to the game. And it's frustrating that like it's what a lot of players end up having to resorting to do. Okay, I need to go in from up here. God, I've been here so many times and so close so many times. <sighs> How? Top pillars were bombable? Is that what I messed up on? Let's see, put this back over here, move this back over here. I ended up looking at a walkthrough because I just I didn't want to waste any more time on stream here with me just scratching my head. Ah, I did not notice that before, that you could bomb the tops of these. Okay. See, that that's just... Ugh. Hi. Looking for this for a minute. <laughs> My favorite item in the game. I feel like a fool right now. Ah, uh, speed boost feels good. Oh, right. So gotta go through.
Ah, that's a different symbol. Speed boost, got it. Okay. I do so love those. Okay, so it's just a forward jump there. And a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. And you bring your knees in time. Nope. Try it again. Jeez. You get hit at all. Oh, it's frustrating. Got it. for that room. Jeez. the fire break those so I don't have to deal with them this still sucks though I'm just gonna hang out here for a sec uh. 
Okay. That room was awful. Ah, you, 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 you. I dislike you. No, 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 no. Ugh. Okay. What a terrible room. That was an interesting room. Oh, it's this guy. I hate this mini game. And that's why. This is how we get the super missile. It's just a terrible little puzzle. And by little, I mean this takes a while. I guess I could have done that here too, huh? No! So that route isn't even a valid route to take. Got it. Has to go to the right anyways. This teaches us about routing. Sucks. Don't have to like it. I just have to do it. Oh no. Like, what is this little assembly line for? Why is it like this? What's it making? No! 
Oh, I'm just going to have to sacrifice a, a robot on purpose there and go through this whole puzzle again. So this isn't even the end, even if that's the bottom there. Still got to go again. Got to go in. Again and again and again. Ah. At least I'm getting faster at this part. Why? No! That's so frustrating! Uh... <laughs> oh wow, alright. Here, here, here we go. Here we go again. And again and again and again. Uh... <laughs> Just do that right there, because it's not going to let me down otherwise. <laughs> also, hello, new viewers! It's good to see you, folks. <laughs> we are having a moment with this little crane game. I feel bad, because you folks are showing up just before it's going to go to a uh, commercial break. Wait, what? What just happened? Did I mess that up? Again? And how? You're not supposed to go down there! Oh! <laughs> Puzzle's done! Oops! Well, I'm going down there. <laughs> Wait. Pu oh, puzzle is done. I didn't realize my beam could go through the rest of that. I am a fool. Ow. I am a fool. Give me my missile. I need one. Set off the entire artillery. I am ball. I am orb. I am orb combination ball. Ooh, ooh, crystal the big missile made from. <laughs> also, thank you, Glitzy Chan, because I was just going to keep running my head into that. <laughs> just absolute puppy mode. All right. Oh, that's what that button's for. Okay. I feel a little, little better outfitted now, I suppose. Oh wow, that one hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna die to this, of all things. I hate this room. 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 <laughs> okay. Right, I had to go to the side here.
You can tell which Metroids I've played a lot of times and which ones I haven't. And this is the, this is the one I've played once. <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> I'm just gonna run right through this. I don't care. Hmm. Oh. Da, da, da. Very nice. Ah. Uh. Okay, I was gonna say. Ow. What am I doing? I need to use the speed boost in every other place that I can think of. Ow. I cannot believe I got that on first shot. Take me anywhere closer to where I'm trying to get you now. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, green door. Up and to the right, I believe. Double check over here, so I'm not doing this again. Okay, yeah, let's just continue exploring. Bop, bop, bop. Go over here, go over here, go over here, go over here, and save. And take a bite of my food. Actually, we're at the one hour, 50 minute mark. I'm going to take a short five minute break here and get up and take a walk around because I've been sitting here for a minute. I recommend you folks do the same and refill your water, grab a snack. We'll be here for a little while because I'm, I'm really enjoying this and I've actually got the energy to play. So yeah, let's hang out. Just, uh, yeah, I need, I need to use the restroom first. <laughs> hey there, Busta. Hello again. So, hi, hi, hi. I'm here oh, too. Oh, Koi. Ah! <laughs> Stealth Koi. <laughs> I, I was going to suddenly start singing Incy Wincy Spider, but I, I couldn't keep my breath right. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me let me activate break a couple time. things. I'll, I'll go get coffee. Yeah, break time is a good time. Uh, turn on Discord call group so you are here. And probably also move my avatar Whoa. hello there there we go a wild oh, koi oh, appears I'm, I'm huge i'm huge <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah at some point we need to mess around with the whole green screen thing but tonight's probably not going to be that night for me um this here and we're actually gonna hide me for the moment Okay, folks, I will be right back. See you in just a moment. Uh, meanwhile, I suppose it's just me here. But don't let that stop you from getting your snacks and drinks and such. Go get them. Also, I vanish. I, I get coffee now.
probably one of the weirder things I have seen this year has been these two barn spiders that have decided to cohabitate on the same web structure outside my door. In all of my life of like being kind of enamored by them and just thinking they're generally pretty looking creatures, I have never observed this behavior before. Normally, you see barn spiders get near each other and they just eat each other like any other spider would. These two are just chilling out together and it, it makes no sense. Like, I've never seen this. Wow. Oh, hey, I guess it would help if I unmuted. Biters. <laughs> hey there, Ami. Uh, uh, oh, wait, did we say something about spiders? A weensy weensy spider climbed up the water spa. Down came the rain and washed the weensy out. Now, I'm out curious. Down came the sun and dried up all the rain. So incy wincy spider went up the spout again. You Barn spider is a common orb weaver spider native to North America. They're found three quarters of an inch in length, and usually yellow and brown in color. They often construct their webs in wooden structures, hence their common name. So there isn't any such thing as Oh, that's weird that they're an American spider. They're just they're they're big old orb weavers. They they like to um make their webs roughly at like neck to uh like the two meter to three meter height area roughly, and their webs can span an entire meter, like per one spider. But yeah, in all my years of, of like paying attention to them, I've never, ever before seen the behavior I'm seeing in the ones that live outside my door right now. And they're two barn spiders of different sizes living together on the same web structure. Like, they're sharing anchor lines with each other. So when one goes running to go get food off of its web, it shakes the other spider, and they don't interfere with each other. They're, they're not like going after each other for making a bunch of movement on the web. It's really interesting. Oh, BC Face did not like that. What did I do? Hello? There we go. Okay. Huh. <laughs> My time be damned. I have completely ruined any time I had by just throwing my break in the middle there and not pausing. Oh well. Where is that green door? Sia Koi, have you played any Metroid games? I know that you played a lot of Metroidvanias. Oh. Hmm. 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 the delay in response there. Yes, I've played some Metroid games for sure. <laughs> uh, particularly Metroid Prime 1 and 3. I don't mm. think I ever had a chance of having Metroid Prime 2. Okay. Um, I have yet. So to... I, have, I have watched people play it there. <laughs> I have yet to finish uh, Prime 2. I'm trying to remember if I beat Prime 1. Oh yeah, I can open this now, can't I? Hell yeah. Uh, wait, can I? As the, the, the 2D ones, I've, I have played 
some. I think I might have had Metroid 1 on the Game Boy. Whatever it was. Uh, uh, I've played Super Metroid on SNES. Don't think I finished it though. That's a good one. These guys just don't move until you like get right in their face. Okay, let's see if I can pull this up. Ah, uh, I don't know if I can actually. I don't even know if I can perform the maneuver I'm about to attempt. I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I should probably clear these two. Spiders. Oh, that doesn't count. Hmm. And now all these are back. Dang it. Oh my god. I wish there was a much more direct way to combat these. Besides using the super bombs. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's the next attempt on this, is to perform that maneuver, but in the right spot. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I did play Metroid Red, that was fun. Red was interesting. I, um, I really liked like some of the movement puzzles they end up inventing for that one that were just basically put in place for players who've been playing for a while. Ah, uh, dang it. That gives me... So I can just jump onto that as my platform point. Uh, drop. No. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> that definitely wasn't right. Does it work? Wait, was... What was the point of this? Oh, no. Surprise! Now you can get through there, I guess. Yeah, but I think <laughs> that the... I... Wait a sec. I... I think everything about that was completely unnecessary because I was supposed to do this with a super missile. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I do this to myself a lot in Metroid games. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, what do we have here? Okay. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, AM2R, why you gotta be like this? Okay. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. I guess that's a thing. And this is nukes as well. Okay. Bye. Ooh, we're in plant land. The plant zones are always so... Ah, I hate these things! <laughs> Every time! Freaking jump scare! Huh. I 
now I can just go through there when I want to. where I came from, although that looks like a thing too. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Spore Blossom! Ah! <laughs> no! Thank a lot of these hits because yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how to get through the combat so this sort of. The combat in this is very lenient for uh, any given Metroid. It seems like they they really went with the idea that uh, her shielding actually worked on SR3D8 before the X parasites. Let me guess, another one right here. <laughs> well, that was a waste. What is over here? Wow. All right, bud. No, no, no. That attack is <laughs> actually kind of unnerving and impressive. Like it makes sense in universe, but so scary. That was just a little nest for that guy to hide out and glorp their way in as a jellyfish and then got stuck. You see, what's the, the explanation for the lightning, the energy attack? Uh, so what... Metroids are able to siphon energy. That's the whole reason that like they're being studied by the Galactic Federation and by the Space Pirates is as a theoretical limitless energy resource. Um, baby Metroids seem to be really good at functioning as basically like supercharged capacitors, but uh, later evolutions in their life cycle <laughs> seem to have the ability to create uh, beam weaponry naturally. Yeah, the more beam energy that I associate with Metroids rather than the... The, the uh, lightning. Well, you know, like a finger lightning and that. Let's see. But yeah, I see the I see the connection there. Yeah, they're now able to transfer negative charges from their nervous system into their horns, releasing electric arcs capable of disrupting weapons fire. Yeah, the later evolutions are terrifying. The um, Omega Metroid that you run across in Fusion is only like as small of a fight as it is because you're already as loaded and outfitted as you can get in the series at that point in fusion there are no better galactic federation weapons it's the furthest point like chronologically those are going somewhere Okay. 
That's interesting. Running short on missiles for this fight. Yeah, whoa, he's whoa, went through whoa, like whoa, whoa. Metroid then. A lot all at once. Thankfully, these whoa. ones where they throw a shelf at me, it's a lot easier to do these fights. Plonk. Oh. I get the feeling I'm about to fight the next level of Metroid, though, and that's going to be a problem. Next level one's gonna be like you got a count of like one left after this. There you going to be like a reason for there to be more. Oh yeah, uh, that's however many are currently being picked up on the scanners in the current area. But each time that uh. you beat that group, it creates uh, tectonic activity that leads to more of them being uncovered from further in the caverns. I want to say there's something like 150 of them in total. That number might be like wildly off, I do not remember. How many zones have you gone through so far? I, uh, I also don't know that actually. At least I keep getting like a couple dozen rockets back after each of these fights. were following you around. I'm a light source. They seem to go after anything that generates light. Mm. Missiles, please. Ooh. Hello. How, how do I get to you? I bomb scan. It just flew off towards something up there. Dropped. Hmm. 
Oops. Okay, so that's generally where I'm going. I have to do it from here. Gotta figure out my heights. Okay, so it's just a drop to that platform. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Bloody hell. Okay. Too, way too high. Come on. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Why'd she do that? Let me take off my jacket. Hope you getting overheated. Also take advantage of a pre-roll joint. <laughs> Cheers, folks. No. I already messed that one up due to timing. You can carry that a lot longer than I ever expect to, though. Why? I was spelling the loaf of bread that I was cooking up. Which mm -hmm. One of the things I was looking for joined you was uh, I was doing, doing some more bread. More bread. Smells good. Cut the shoot through sheer brute force. Double the missiles though. Nuke's good. Okay. Next puzzle. <laughs> Moving on. Was there anything in these areas that I couldn't access before? It was the crystals that were up there. And... That was another super bomb area. Let's see. I consult the walkthrough gods once more. I'm down to what one Metroid left. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if that corner down there was somewhere that I had missed. Something about the somersault and this sounds like sniffing. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, why can't I go through there? I am dying from my pre roll. <laughs> what is going on here? No, put that away. Uh, of uh, course. It may suddenly. Yeah, uh, uh, it may abruptly disappear uh, to that, work on some model stuff. That happens. This seems weird looking. Okay. Last of these giant bugs. Uh, 
in theory. Well, that's a lot faster when I use the super missiles for the fights. Also, that marks the end of that group. Lava moves down again, and we get to go to a new zone. Which I always appreciate. You get to go to New Zealand? New zone. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Would be cool if I got to go to New Zealand. I'd absolutely have to go visit a certain Fennec Fox. actually managed to regain some resources after that fight. That's funny. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alex has been to the part of Hobbiton where they've left the doors in the hills. <laughs> Neat. Kind of has that vibe, yeah. All the vines. Picturesque. Nice. Uh, I've been, been told to about the um, amazing scenes of New Zealand. I've been to the part of uh, Hell's Half Acre that was the planet Klaatu in Starship Troopers. <laughs> the only thing remotely like that I can claim. Hey. It's really cool though. I didn't know that you've been out of country, Amicus. Wait, the lava didn't move. Well, this lava didn't move. So what does that mean? Huh? Ow. Ow. Just stand there and stab myself on the head for a second. Don't mind me. Ah, this lava moved. Or did it? It did! New area! What, what, what? Oh, that's your phone. Haven't been out of the US, US in about six years. Been to Iceland, New Zealand, Germany, and Austria. That's really cool. A well-traveled bunny. What do we find here? Oh, I love this part. This is where you actually see like the... You've been to Japan? That's awesome. This is the part where you end up seeing some of the Galactic Federation technology, including dead soldiers. The scientists constructed a small mobile research site within the cave system. The, re the access tunnel leading to their research vessel has collapsed, and all of their equipment is non-operational. Vital signs of all exosuits are flatlined. There are no survivors in this site. More super missiles. But these are like automatically detecting. Ah, what? No. Ah. No, two at the same time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Glad I just had enough super missiles to smack them. Okay. Green shake. No. Oh, that's super missiles. Okay, so I'm assuming that means lava the other direction now. Ugh. 
Ooh, tasty. You still love us that way. What about up here? satisfying crunch there's mushrooms everywhere now they're all glowy that's cute Mushroom. scanning environment new log entry Hordite crystals are one of the most durable naturally forming crystals in the galaxy this is where they're also pulling information from uh, the the prime series for use in, in the 2D series, which they never actually like explained materials technologies really in in the the main trilogy or even much after. I want to say that by Dread they they had also started doing so, but it wasn't standard yet for the longest time. And though they're not as hard as diamonds, this makes them a more malleable resource. The Chosen found various practical uses for cordite in constructing machinery or producing works of art. This mining facility supplies cordite and various other minerals to nearby industrial complex. Cool. Ah! Uh -huh. That was interesting. I love the speed boost, it's so good. You're really disconnected from Discord there, sorry. Uh oh. Why was disconnected from Discord? I was. Oh. But disconnected and reconnected. You gotcha. I'm digging. I'm the diggy pup. And then crunch. Also, um, not disappearing to work on Avatar. Uh, <laughs> Possible video <laughs> tomorrow that I can check out. Ah, okay. Always learning. Mm. Yeah, blend shape stuff is something that I need to learn about. I really don't look forward to any of that. I'm kind of hoping that I can end up learning uh, vicariously through others and I know that's not the the best way to go about that but like I've I have tried and tried and tried to parse what the hell I'm doing in blender and it's uh, yeah, I have a friend that would be good to reference for model creation mm -hmm. one of the things I want to get into but um, the blend shape stuff I could I think there's something called a HANA tool to help mm. create the necessary um, facial blend shapes, but uh, it costs a bit of money. Yeah. I wonder there's if another one that's a little bit more expensive as well. But... Reading through walk through stuff to see generally where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, wait, wait, wait.
Well, that's not it. Oh. Let's say make an unfortunate discovery. Oh, did I go to the wrong place? I think I did. Pool is not received. In fact, the pool in A has dropped this time. Return there to proceed with your mission. Okay, so that's that's it for that. My facility, which is where we're at now. Uh, Metroids, no items to, to obtain throughout this part of the game. That's interesting. Yeah, that is. Okay, so I there is a spot there that I was supposed to be at this whole time that as I was like on the outside of the vehicle, the mining vehicle that I was using, I was bombing around and apparently missing every single time. This has been bugging me. There it is. Okay. Uh huh. That's so frustrating. That not open the path on that side of it. There's like a pass underneath uh, okay. it. Yeah. The cordite crystal was harder than the the rock. So the machine couldn't go through it. Mining vehicle controlled by a bull. Yep. Chozo technology. You must become orb. Everything's powered by eggs. Save point. Scanning environment. Whoa, 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 whoa. New log entry. SPCF Mac. The campsite's done for. Blaine and I ran for the elevator when a jellyfish Metroid bit into him. His last words were, Stop your grinning and drop your linen, as he shoved a demolition bomb in its mouth. Next thing I knew, I'm knocked off my feet, elevator's covered in rubble, and the Metroid casually leaves, drenched in his blood. Damn it, Blaine, our tech doesn't work like Iran's. But I didn't let it leave my sight. Trailed it till I laid till it laid down and changed color. It's payback time. I'm gonna have me some fun. Gonna have me some fun. Gonna have me some fun. Aw, oh, person died right then. Alright. What are you? Ow. Whoa. Like little spatial anomalies. Oof. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Ah, I knew it. Ah, ah, ah. Rock and issue. Ah, no. Up between a Metroid and a hard place. This is the one that killed them. Lukataro! Hey there, Hi. Okay, that's I won! Whoa! Is there a thing I can do on the other side here? If I... Oh, hello? Huh. These things are weird. What? Try to trip you up or something. 
They they uh affect they're like little gravitic anomalies. They slow me down regardless of the vector. I was I was thinking of the drone. drone. Oh yeah. Machine. Oh jeez. Yeah. I did not even mean to use the nukes. <laughs> These are weird. <laughs> oh. I thought the camera was shaking because of something I was doing. Okay, the, this lava didn't move. But that lava did. Is it at this lava? Nope. Okay. Well, let's check up above us, because that still had way more lava. <clears throat> and probably save and refill. Okay. There was a space back there that looked like it was also a shaft you could climb up. Uh, uh, what? What? I accidentally hit the windows key. Let's see. Oh. In the tunnel where the mining machine was. Oh. I see what you mean right here. Uh, no, a little bit further on. There. Oop. This is the one I came from. Maybe just now? Uh, yeah. Save points on the other side. Well, not, no, no, not this one. Not this one. Sorry, I got the delay, so it's just left oh, with that chart. Oh, gotcha. From. Yeah, yeah. My apologies. I suppose I could broadcast this into Discord as well. Give you a one-to-one -one view. <laughs> this works. It's all right. That goes nowhere. This goes nowhere. I just have Craig's theme song stuck in my head. Wait. Okay. The space jump is... You get it so early in this... Same goes for Spring Ball. Also, I'm going to be so spoiled in this game by being able to hit a button to go instantly into Morph Ball mode, because that is not a mechanic at any other point in the game. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Whoa, what are you? Very immune, that's what you are. What a strange creature. Ow. Aha, okay. Ow. <laughs> Everything here. <laughs> it all wants to eat me. Oh, those can be injured. Okay. 
And they drop super missiles. Oh, looks like the... Okay, so you can hit these with the wave beam as well. Wow, that is very far down. Huh. Okay. That is not what I meant to do. How would I... I guess it would be... Okay, we'll try that again. Alright. Right into the drink. No! You know what? I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I don't even know what the power-up is. We're just gonna go. You're a weird little bird head. Why are you weird little bird heads? I don't like that. Why are you disembodied heads of my parents? My two dead gay dads. Samus has really interesting family. <laughs> Ah, yes. The bone pit part of this game. I don't miss this. Oh, I don't miss this either. Shout out to everyone's gay dads. You. Zeta Metroid. After substantial transformation of its body, the Metroid's power and defense has greatly improved. Though the Zeta Metroid can no longer fly due to its immense weight, its new legs are strong enough to carry it and uh, carry it and perform great bursts of speed. The arms can deliver powerful strikes, and its mouth glands can spray a highly corrosive substance. Its two prior forms were akin to a pupil phase. Discarding the Gamma Metroid's exoskeleton marked the beginning of its adulthood. The Zeta Metroid is the one that's actually inspired by uh, Alien. I do not remember how to fight you. I don't. Ah. No, no. Ah. Ow. I haven't saved in a while. Ooh. Are you kidding? Uh, first few times I fought this fellow kicked my butt. Happy Friday, Ada. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to die. This Metroid is giving me a run for my money. I might need to go to a save point. Uh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Can't do it. Gonna go find a save point. We'll come back. <laughs> oh, that almost got real bad. I'm surprised you were able to make it out of that arena. Same. I didn't expect to be able to do that. I saw the way out and I took it. Oh, almost landed in the lava. The tower. This facility is operating on emergency power supply. Thermal readings indicate that there's at least one functional device located deep within the building. It's good to see you, Ada. How's your day going? Save point. I want to go fight that Metroid. Because I know I have to anyways. Ow.
Got super baked and Fabrizio took you through a crazy exploration map. That sounds fun. Ah! 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 <laughs> I hate this Metroid so much! She might be my Sibley, but I don't have to like you. <laughs> Ow! Messed up. Okay. Wow, that was not fun. You're not excited to fight another five of them. Yeah. So what is... Wait, what? Oh, a hint. No. What is on the other side of this? Okay, none of that actually marks out uh, speed boost requirements, so I'm not going for it. Oh, jeez. Every time. And there goes all my super missiles. I completely missed. Could you get off of me? <laughs> Jellyfish Death Spider. That sounds like an absolute blast. Chatterino Ping.exe. Yeah, probably. I I'm well aware that uh, even though I set a streamer mode button for Chatterino, it has done nothing to fix that. <laughs> Is that a silver door? Interesting. And a hole in the building. And another save point. <laughs> and so in I go. Dang, I was hoping I could use the speed boost attack on it. Ow. This fight is actually so rude, yet each of these are. I really don't like fighting the Zeta. Ow! Metroids. I'll just let it keep bashing me if I can missile it. Okay. Don't think there's anything else in here. I'm receiving multiple pings. One sec. Okay. Wait, what? 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 Huh? 
Was it directly underneath there? I wonder where that goes to. Took off the headset and you're so pink. <laughs> Well, cheers, everyone. <laughs> Log entry updated. GFR J. Nolan. Most sentient species in the Federation regard the extinct Harmonious Chosen with utmost respect and as an example of what any civilization drowning in violence should strive to become. But this tower I've scanned, a dedicated weapons factory, certainly puts that view into question. Yet it remained positive. Surely, the Chosen resorted to this when they discovered the Metroid on the SR-388. Any pacifist would after facing those monsters. The climb was certainly worth the view. A shame my colleagues aren't alive to see this. SPFC Mac. SPCF Mac. Oh, that's the next one. Okay. Doing these without saving in between seems ill-advised, but we're going to do it. Ah! I hate these guys so much. Like, after playing this game, little baby jellyfish Metroids, they're cute. They're cute. They're cute. The adults, not so cute. Whoa, new art. Okay, I'm going to help someone with an OVRC avatar. Ooh. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Bye. I'll catch you later. That statue is sublime. <laughs> I'm glad I've got decent reaction time on those traps. Those little pitfalls. What is up here? What have I found? Oh, game. Yeah? What What did I just find? <laughs> Let's take a look at that statue. We got two Chozo... Two Chozo warriors in power armor holding up... A globe? Oh, there's a hole on this side, too. Ooh. Plasma beam. Delicious. Oh, 
Oh, struggling for control of it is a really good take on that. All these unpowered silver doors that I can't access or open yet. They are in wrestling poses. You're true. You are correct. You're true. <laughs> Brain broke. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Oh, looks like we found the power center. Time to light this up. Log entry updated. The immense tower houses a weapons R&D facility. The robots patrolling within are combat drones equipped with weapon prototypes and advanced shield plating. They possess superior AI and are programmed to fire at any living target, target keeping the tower sterilized of organic matter very efficiently. Proceed with caution. Okay. Whoa. A lot of guns. Interesting. It has like a kinetic resistance. What am I supposed to do there? Oh, I see. This looks very not fun. What are you? What are you? Scanning mechanism. This unit performs 360 degree live fire tests of prototype weapons. Scans indicate the exterior armor is resistant to beam weaponry, while the interior is further protected by an energy field that repels solid projectiles. Auto repair systems in the cannons can mend all damage within seconds. Schematics reveal these systems were applied due to earlier models' cannons being exposed to exceedingly violent tests. Similar to your power suit, the unit's modular design allows for the addition and removal of equipment. You are true. <laughs> Hello? Ow! Ow! What the bullet hell is this? Oh, I hate that. this
Okay. So many components to take apart on this thing. Why am I dismantling a robot? Why? <laughs> no. So the weapon systems can be re can be repaired at will. The armor cannot. I don't know uh, what I'm supposed to be. What? Where's the progress on this? Okay. A little bit closer. I am running out of health, and I don't quite know how to kill this thing. I don't... My hands are getting tired from this fight! This thing's actually winning a war of attrition against me on just sheer brute force. And I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing differently than I'm... Uh, I'm gonna pause and take a sec. Oh, wow. Okay. I can only assume that it, I'm actually doing damage. Like, if not, this is, this is going to actually be a matter of me continuing until I physically can't anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait a second, am I doing this out of order? No, no I'm not. Okay. And back help friend with Booth Avatar. Alright. Hell yeah. 
Uh, store them for use. It records what makes it function. Immune to concussive blasts. Of... Is vulnerable to beam weapons. Goal is to strategically remove the out armor to expose the cores and pelt the core with your main weapon until it's destroyed. That's it. Uh... Once you just it's literally just keep hitting it. Just keep hitting it and it'll die. All right. We're taking a short break. Let's hope I can do this. Uh Wow! It was so close that whole time. Okay. Uh, we made it. Now to not get killed on the way out. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh, hello, everything else in this room. Okay. Okay. That feels good. Heavy, heavy, big laser. Heavy, big laser, do big, stabby, slashy. Goes right through their armor, which is really nice. Advanced plating be damned. And now, now we can save right here. Wow. That was tough. I don't remember that fight being that tough. That was tough. Huh. Let's see here. Go over here, go over here, go over here, go over here, go over here. Laser do stabby slashy, not cauterize you bunny. <laughs> I don't know. Um, damn. I need that super bomb. I'm trying to remember where it is. Ah, I see. Bop, 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 bop. That only goes that way. And that goes down and through there. We now have the place powered, so we can go up this way. I should have just looked at the map before coming down here, but hey, you know. You know how it is. Get new gun, gotta go zap. Ribs go crunch. This one's got hops. 
Hoppy McGee. Rocky Raku went up to his room only to find Gideon's Bible. I shoot so many missile armor. Yeah. Okay. Shoot out the legs of his rival. I should probably go recharge. What, really? not an ideal way to go about this. Let's just use the save point instead. Okay. Uh. It's so interesting seeing what, like, everybody's different skill sets are with avatar creation. I'm constantly blown away by, like, Everybody just working together. It's so cool. Makes me happy. Ah, almost. These rooms, I hate them. Ah yes, the ceiling locking system. This sure does take a long time to open and close. Hmm, something went wrong here. VTuber stuff is showing you some stuff with your avatars that should let you do more for VRC. Like what? Sorry, I'm being attacked by physical layer bugs while I'm also trying to contend with the stuff happening on screen here.
This goes really far down. Like, really far down. What a terrible security system. An actual running elevator. we just did will it be for not can it be for a not Geothermal plant generates the power to run all other facilities in the cave complex. Water from the hydro station is injected into the system using insulated pipes. Sophisticated turbines use the heat of the local environment, being extremely efficient with minimal loss of water. The massive amount of energy produced is stored in isolated arrays of power cells. One of these has lost some structural integrity, and any significant change in pressure could overload it. Well, we have a new problem to deal with. We swear we needed it. Now I've done it. <laughs> Hi, hello, hi, how, how are you? I don't remember you. Sensors on his head provide it with accurate aim. However, the alloy protecting it has weakened with time, allowing the arm and track sections, along with the arm and track sections, attacking these may grant you tactical advantages. Hardware scans revealed the stink was to be mass produced, originally remote controlled, but basic AI is now active due to a lack of commands. Okay. I guess I could have grabbed some loot from that. Oh well. Uh, well, that's not an option anymore. I guess we're going this way. so scary to me every time
Looking like Ridley's dad. Well, it's... Alright, so... Ridley... Uh, if if other M is to be, like, accepted as canon... Uh, is a bird. It is a, a, an evolved lizard... That came from a bird in reverse from, like... <laughs> what Earth evolution was like, I guess. Uh, the Chozo are also birds, which now that makes me kind of wonder. I, I had never really made the connection before. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the temperature. Hey, uh, power core going hot real quick. Uh, get me out of here. Um, 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 is this the way up? That's not the way out. That's not the way out either. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hate that. Gotta go all the way around the entire tower. You don't get to just like... Uh, I'm taking too long. I'm gonna. Oh no. Oh! This button! I could have been using it the whole time to bomb scan. Okay, 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 okay. Let me through, please! Please! Let me through! <laughs> I hate this! Let me out! Samus is part chosen. Samus is a bit of a mutt. Uh, she's got Chozo and Chozo bioweapon and Hulman and uh, by a certain point in the story, there, there's a lot of different DNA inside her. I mean, Samus had human parents, theoretically. I, I have no idea, like, when specifically because the the <laughs> endings of the games has like bounced around a little bit with that but she she does have two gay bird dads that adopted her and taught her a lot a lot of dna inside you too yeah i'm not surprised <laughs> okay i guess let's see what's over here More power bombs. Good. I needed those. <laughs> I mean, I've already done so much damage to this tower. What's a little more? Okay, so that opens that up going that direction. What's in here?
Human, Chozo, Metroid X, Phase on, the list goes on. Yeah. Super missile tank. Very nice. <laughs> Ah! Hey there, Nine Gosling. How's it going? Yeah, the bugs! They're so frustrating! Okay, we had orange power doors up on the outside of the area, so let's go back outside. Beam. This takes me over here. This takes. Oh, wait a sec. Aha! That's funny that I could have grabbed that when there was still lava everywhere. It's so close to the surface, I just wouldn't have known. New area. I guess I'll go look at that. Okay, that's like legit a new area I'll have to go to later. Before I do that though, I want to go to my ship. Because there's a place for me to open a door there. And we all know how I feel about doors. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hold up. Wait, what? Uh, sorry, I am contending with these mods the best I can. Never trusted a door as far as I could open it personally. I never did go over here. I just ran right past. That's funny. Why is there a spot there? Where would you get enough force to do that? Oh, wait a sec. Wait, hold up. What's the point of that? Where would that even take you?
scanning environment. The GFS Toss is a Griffin class ship. Once an escort of Olympus class battleships, it has since been converted into a research vessel. Its crews continuously help the Federation explore planets, ancient civilizations, and study species throughout the galaxy. The Toss carries portable drilling machinery for exp excavations. The ship landed on a small valley. The present dig site connects directly to the underground research lab. An on her class gunship is also nearby, registered to the rescue team. Hey Dan, welcome home. Okay. Ri. What if Samus was so cool? Oh. Wait a sec. How big is this ship? This is like the GFS contact light. Oh. What's got Dallas so spooked? I, for one, am trying to find Metroids to put these ice rifles to the test. I read the intel. Keep the suckers frozen until our partners break with the rocket launchers. Teamwork. I just hope they got in good practice in anywhere but the outdated survivor arenas. Their Metroid holograms are a joke. Well, apparently it didn't work out for you folks. But you have ice rifles. What else is out here? Um, hey there. Things have slowed to a crawl after we captured the blind animal a few nights ago. I don't think I'd be spending most of my time digging with researchers when I was offered the chance of a lifetime. Still, I suppose it's better than my sister's assignment. Can't imagine anything more boring than patrolling the orders off the Kraken Empire space. Oh, there's the... That's the on her. Okay, and there's the poisonous gas on the outside of the atmosphere. Gotta get all the little squares. Gotta fill them all in. Fill up all the squares. <clears throat> Bloody moths and mosquitoes really driving me wild tonight. Not having fun with it. Not. <laughs> See, I was trying to be stylish and cool before and like run across it. Wait, run across the top of this thing so I could do this. That is a lot faster. Wow, that is a that is a heck of a distance. Huh. The sound of her taking damage, it's like burned into my brain. Okay. Nope, that's in there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. That was actually like... <gasps> oh. So if you play Metroid Fusion at any point, um, that this is the hallway. This is the room where you find the X-Parasites after the Metroids have, have been exterminated later, after this mission. And so, like, running through here and just obliterating that frog that's got the X-Parasite... <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
What? 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 Huh? 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 Yo! Welcome in, raiders! Thank you, Sharp, for the raid! I am the Sandwife, the green glow dog on the internet from the Game Mountains of Colorado. Welcome in, everyone! How's your night going? How is your game? How is your stream? Gives me a chance to sit back here for a sec. Oh, Aww. thank you for the follow. <laughs> Getting all the notifications. <laughs> Super appreciate the follows. Thank you for the support. Uh, kind of mad that your game crashed, but it is what it is. Oh no, that's never fun. I've been dealing with that a lot lately. Uh. Well, it's good to see you, hon. We are doing some adventuring in uh, AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake, which has its own interesting clouded history. But uh, basically, aliens, aliens, it's just, it's aliens because, you know, Metroid, it's aliens. <laughs> we managed to send a distress signal before the Metroid bug fried the comm antenna, but the captain's an issue. He wants to look for the underground team. We just got our asses kicked, and he wants us to go back out there? I've got a better idea. How about we ditch them and leave the planet? I don't care if I'm branded a coward or locked away with a pirate bunkmates at HQ. I just want off this planet. A lot of good games tonight, though. Yeah. Where are we going here? Whoa. All right, we got another elevator. It's a disaster. First an explosion from the underground camp's elevators, and suddenly Ash's radar picks up three Metroid signals heading our way. One of them was different. Looked like an insect. Shot lightning. Our ice rifles couldn't contain it. Araka gave her life covering us as we fled the ship. Fled to the ship. Last I saw of her was that thing flying away with her body impaled on his horns. Screams. I can't get her screams out of my head. Stay sharp. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> narrator of the week aw I love getting to read the, the story entries and lore entries in various games it's like one of my favorite things in uh in doing all these okay so we just went through the outside of the ship oh there's oh that's so cool alright I guess we got to go back and try and get on one of those turbo lifts it's amazing that the outside of the ship can handle that kind of weapons fire, but I guess it's supposed to. Uh, you too, huh? Anybody here? Uh, Alright. Captain Dallas. I escorted Ash back to the Toth after the underground camp gave him <laughs> after the underground camp gave him samples from what they describe as a large translucent husk. Ash has a bad feeling about it. I wouldn't be as troubled if I'd given far if I'd been given far more soldiers for this expedition, along with a bounty hunter or two. HQ is confident that with their intel we'll be able will enable us to kill the original Metroid type if it's not extinct by now. But on what basis do they believe it's the only threat on SR388? Captain, you have no clue. Let me let me pilot this ship. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, more more lore entries? Ashes log number sixty-eight. Researchers notes. The larva Metroid carries four nuclei organs primarily used to stock the energy absorbed from its prey. For protection, it, distrib it distributes a portion of the organ's power into the surrounding membrane and fortifies it. Only cold temperatures can hinder this flow of energy and weaken its defense. Recent findings and events suggest that the three of the larvae's nuclei eventually change into stem-like cells on SR388 to be used as building blocks for its later forms. But why only here? Is it something in its food or radiation from the planet emits? <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, Sharp. Thank you so much for dropping in. Also, uh, these lore entries, if I i don't remember them being in the original release of this, so this being AM2R version 1.5, it seems like there's actually been added content to the game since I last played it. 
Hashes log 71. Researcher, <laughs> researcher's notes. The larvae on SR388 are voracious until they metamorphose, at which point their hunger subsides. Off-world metroids cannot normally shed their larval form, which I believe is a side effect of their adaptations. Nuclei likely alter in function when the metroid is removed from SR388, changing into specialized cells that help the creature tolerate its surroundings. This, along with new environmental factors, cause subtle or drastic changes to the body. Regrettably, the metroid is stuck in perpetual hunger as it tries to reach a form it can no longer obtain. Ashes Log 82 Researcher's Notes The presence of compact nuclei rendered the larvae highly responsive to radioactivity. For example, beta rays caused them to divide and multiply within hours, a fact that aided the space pirates in keeping the supply of specimens for many operations. Other radioactive elements enable off-world metroids to bypass their larval phase and mutate into powerful aberrations that, if not reported by Iran herself, I'd have disregarded as fiction. It's gravely concerning to think of how other forms of radioactivity can affect metroids, and why our government must take action before anyone gets their hands on them again. Sets off a nuke in your lab. This information cannot leave. Kane. I think HQ wants to minimize their involvement with bounty hunters, as their reliance on the latter to solve problems over the years might have made the government look weak. They explain why Samus, the famed Metroid killer, wasn't hired to accompany, accompany us. This could have been my chance to... I forgot that in-universe some people actually don't know. This could have been my chance to meet him. I'd have started off with some small talk, invite him to a drink, and I'm daydreaming again. Knowing me, I'd get flustered and strike him as an awkward gal. Oh, Kane, I had no idea. I'm pretty sure she would have taken you for a lovely date. Too bad you're dead. Rest in peace. What are you? What are you? I have no idea what's up with this room. Nice to have a save point at least. You have got to be kidding me. You have them in tanks again. You have them in tanks again. What were you thinking? Of course you escaped. Yeah, it be such a much time. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that no matter what, she she'd be happy to to help somebody, you know, explore some things. I cannot believe this. Scanning bioform. Hello, you. Genesis, an ambush predator. This blind animal has adapted to hunt in the dark, relying on specialized senses to stalk prey. Its body offers little protection and will attempt to conceal itself in the shadows as a result. Its acidic blood is used as a projectile via auto hemorrhaging. The Genesis naturally hunts in groups, making it a highly successful species with little need to evolve. This DNA suggests it belongs to the oldest living lineage on SR388, granting its name. Oh, jeez! Hello? Oh wow, this thing has a lot more health than expected. Ow, ow, ow. You know what? How about that? <laughs> I'm just gonna nuke the hell out of this thing.
Wow, that sounded bad for it. Have you considered explosion? All right, Genesis. May that be the last of you. What is this little Stargate thing back here, though? Did they excavate a Chozo door and just take it? What happened here? Well, okay, so that's it for there. Hmm. That might be it for this area. Let's head back to the research area. Oh, wait. Nope, that one's reinforced. Not breaking that one down. Carrion eaters have approached the vicinity, drawn to the scent of the decay previously trapped within the toff. Oh, That's very specific and... did not expect that kind of update. So those are carrion eaters. That teaches me a lot about those too. Can I climb up this? Ah, that spot is also... Okay. Well, it's worth me looking at. It is funny how long it takes to fall <laughs> after climbing that far up. Okay. So that's that. Ah! You again. can go this way. It is time I do so. I wanted to go to my ship, but I ended up at another ship, and I guess I guess that's really what matters. I got to go explore a ship. And then we save. In our cool bird armor. quite what I meant to do. It does give me a better idea though the let's see. Do, 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 do. No, that's not there. And nothing there either. So I'm assuming it's probably one of the transportation elevators. And we'll get there in a moment. This game's about to open up a whole bunch more. Although, I'm getting the feeling that my 
my memory of Tarantulas might not even be in this game. Like, I know he's in Fusion, but I could have sworn he was also in this game. Okay, so let's just go up from here. to jump to that from there. I have to do it again when I hit the ground there. possible in that amount of time is that possible okay we're gonna try again advanced movement techniques 501 okay it can be done I don't even think I figured that out the last time. Okay, we can go into here. This is next spot. So many explosions. Right, that goes there, that way. So... I guess I do still have to go back up that way. Alright. That was fun, though. <laughs> Got to blow up a bunch of robots. just okay yeah That looks complete. We continue this way. The stone burners. Yeah. Big booms. 
The big booms, they bright. Sorry to anybody that's watching on mobile or in VR. Major flash main moment. And we're going to be bomb scanning with those instead of uh, using the previous bombs just because it's far more effective and can reach areas that I can't get to with the uh, grapple and bombs combined. Let's see here. I don't have anything to do in that area theoretically. Theoretically. There's that one silver door that I still don't know about. Every time I go up there it's not actually a thing I can get to, so I'm not gonna mess with that. this room. <laughs> Alright. Nothing else? Okay. Continuing. Fill out this map, I guess. the feeling that there's a thing here. Hmm. Looking like the answer is no, but it doesn't feel like it. And I know why. It's because I beat um, Metroid Zero Mission right before playing this one. So I'm still thinking that the Chozo Ruins that I went to there have stuff that I need to unlock with the power bomb. Wow.
Wait, that has, doesn't actually go there. Okay. Uh. Oh. Huh? Why does a good portion of my brain think that there's a door here? Oh no, I'm doing it again. This is Super Metroid that I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to. <laughs> uh, climb over this rock. We go over this way. We go over this way. Oh, that didn't work. It's cool looking though. While we're at it. Nope, nothing there either. It's really interesting that those things are still immune to even plasma weapons. No way. Okay. Well. I have no idea how to get through those. It wouldn't even be a matter of like... Maybe it is. Oh, that's the spot right there. Okay. Dang it. Nah, it's never gonna work. All right, well. <sighs> Next spot, I guess, would be down. That, that. How much you want to bet? I just walked like backwards so far, and it's gonna open up that path the other direction, and I'll be able to come back up here immediately. How much you want to bet? Because I don't remember. I legitimately don't. It's been so many years since I played this. Glad we have a uh, weapons munition printing factory on our ship. Okay, so there was a spot to the right here. Let's see where that goes. Because <sighs> that next one is the obvious down. Sorry for the late dab, I was doing skincare. Hey, good to do skincare. Always good to be taking care of your skin.
This is certainly some route, isn't it? Wait a sec. Okay. Hmm. No! All that effort for no reason. Okay, well. Back up. Back up we go. To where we just came from. Proper rest last night for the first time in a week. You have so much energy after being groggy all day. That's totally valid. I actually intended on making coffee tonight as uh, part of my break for tonight's stream, but instead, I ended up getting cuddles, which is also good. Okay. Uh, how and what is this, and why can't I go through it? What am I. Well, first of all, give me that. Got space jump, but not screw attack. Correct. I have the poor man screw attack, but not the uh, the actual real deal. Something about that spot over there. Is it meant to be a way out for later? Hmm. Teleportation? There's something about that. I just don't remember what. Ow. There's a gap. Well, the left side, uh, oh, I was trying to get to, but it looks like the weird beak beacon thing is just an unpowered thing I have to get to still. But alternatively, there is still a route that I need to take that goes to the bottom of this, which is the next actual part of the story, if I remember correctly, which I could be remembering very incorrectly. You never know. Ah. You know what? I'll, I'll take the free healing. Plus, we're at the new spot that I'm supposed to be at in the first place. So let's let's check this out. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm not sure about that one.
Distribution center. Finally, I made it here. Ow. Leave me alone. Evil fish. I'm so bad at bomb jumps in this, especially with without gravity. Love the way everything looks here. It's so pretty. Oh wow, that really flashes now. Cheers, everyone. This facility is a power distribution center. The wiring link to this facility provides power to various structures within the region. All excess energy is stored in portable spherical cells, which is distributed distributed throughout the intricate passages of the cave, cave system via vacuum pipes and carrier drones. These cells are filled to maximum capacity. Any exposure to beam weapons will destabilize the energy charge. Concerning... Bold hell! Bold hell! Bold hell! Blue energy juice!
What find? Somebody set up us the bomb. We get signal. Main screen turn on. I continue using the super bombs for everything. Oh. Sounds like you just got powered? Oh. Ah! That's what the blue energy orbs do. It's very pretty. Alright. So one destabilizes, they all destabilize. So, concussive via bombs. Interesting. What a strange system. The blue energy spheres are highly entertaining. Oh no. Just gonna hang out here for a minute, I guess. Okay, your save room. I love how bouncy they are. They remind me of the um, Fallout energy spheres. Distribution tube. Become the orb. Whoa. That's a lot of screw attack. Oh, no. Another save point. Let me go power another door. Oh no. Oh.
All right. And then, and then everything skiplode. <laughs> that could have sucked. I like that. found it. Finally. Inflict massive damage via screwing. While we're at it, blow up everything in the room. Okay. That one's still unpowered. Samus is kind of a gremlin. <laughs> yeah, just kind of stealing everything. Ah, oh, this goes that way. And this goes this way. But this goes this way. Metro- Whoa! That's so many Metroids! What is happening here? What? <laughs> I have no effect on them. Not cool, but I guess I needed to do it. Bouncing around like Yoda and attack at the clones. And part of that's also the player. I guess I haven't gone this way yet. Shloop. Vacuum tube go boom. Whoa, 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 what are you? Hello. Back into here. Congealed shows a fluid barrier, maybe. This is Chozo sauce. I need that gravity armor. These mobility be bad. After all the good mobility, why mobility bad? Mobila bad. Whoa, what are you? You generate missiles. 
and a useful ring. I do not know how to defeat these, I'm just gonna run past them. Welcome new viewers. Good to see you all. Let's go this way. This looks like a room that Metroids would be in. Yep, I had the feeling. Why are you aquatic? Why are you actually being a jellyfish? This is so not fair. I don't have the movement this is so messed up. Yeah, come over here. Good night, Jarvie. Thank you so much for dropping in, hun. Always good to have you. What do we got here? Stuff I cannot open yet. Greasy dog. <laughs> also, a late cheers to all those who are smoking vaping or dabbing tinctures edibles tonics or salves i missed the funny number time but i am dying now <laughs> ah. That da that dab did some damage. <laughs> I don't like those things. They're so wobbly and scary. Okay, that puts us over here. We should save. <laughs> Blue orbs. Oh, fry my EM sensors real quick. Ah, I suppose that would make a difference, wouldn't it? What have I found here? Ah. Golf. Golf, 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 golf. Wow, that worked out really well.
So from here... Wow, you guys suck. Evil fish. Ha! Ah, I have left your domain. You can no longer, no longer get to me. The outside of these ruins is so cool looking. So wait a sec, what else is there here? And even from the outside, it's going to be hard to get in there. I guess we're going to have to check each of these up routes. Jeez. Uh, I need to also remember that I have access to this ability. Alright, what do we got over here? I see you're damaged. this one to the brown zone that takes us here hmm <laughs> yes, that had the same effect as I was I was expecting it would by saying that out loud. Oh, this place This place extra boom. Let's see. I don't want to go there. But let's... I'm not sure where I find the gravity suit. I'm pretty sure it's... not here. Also, how easy would it be for me to get to... Yeah, okay. Well, free healing. Alright, so now we know that the, uh... Top one of these that goes left-right leads to the tower. What about this one? Purple goes... Here? I don't actually remember what's over here. Ah. So we created a fast transit system, but it doesn't mean much. Let's see here. Let's check the next one, I guess. Where does it take it? Yeah, where does it take us? <laughs> this one takes us to... Where does yellow go? Or green? Oh, this is a new zone. Okay, so we got a new zone that affects the way our sensors work and makes our guns all sparkly. In a really bad way. Cannot use bombs, cannot use super bombs, cannot use conventional weapons, cannot use beam weapons. Okay. But the screw attack still works in that area. Interesting. It's 
So these are actual like missile tanks. Nice. Now, how would I open that? How would I open any of this? Hmm. Nothing scanned. Nothing scanned. But I can get down here. Which allows me to do this. Oh! Okay. Hey! 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 That's some fancy looking armor there, Samus. Very nice. So many of these. Oh, but we can move in the water now. Yes. <clears throat> Which means water Metroid battle, right? Okay, so next would be directly up from there to one of those hidden spots. Got it. Moving out. Scanning, sorry.
Another friend get physics on their VRM. Very nice. It's really cool. I'm glad you're finding folks to help out with your newfound skills. That's like tops. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's drop down to the water here and see what we can find. Oh yeah, I can fight these now. Ha ha! That's the reason they're so difficult. I'm supposed to fight them with this. Okay. Ah. Four steps over then. that so there see if that's correct got it Wow, they made certain that you can't get through that via exploit. That's really funny. Did I miss the Metroid? What happened here? The hell? This room seems very... Uh, impolite. <clears throat> Extra damage. Plasma and ice. There it is. I'm 
one's really hidden. Yeah? Terrace. Love that the propeller is that she flies up. Terrace is from Vetroid Fusion. You come across it as something that's already fallen victim to the X parasites. Um, an amphibian predator capable of reaching ultra high speeds, making it the fastest animal in SR388. The layer of skin on his underside serves as a respiratory organ and is sensitive to sudden drops in temperature. Its many eyes and segmented body allow great efficiency in vision and body movement. When a Ceres moves to a new location, it digs passages to channel the water from its previous home to prevent dehydration. Its behavior likely flooded the distribution center. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of my food here.
Thank you. I absolutely was. I was uh, taking some dabs earlier and coughing so bad. Speaking of, cheers, everyone. Try to do a little bit less damage to myself this time. Uh, there is something. I'm striking something. What is. What am I supposed to be doing here? Hmm. Okay, I wonder if I go back over this way then. Oh, sudden headache. Don't like that. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so we fought the one Metroid. Oh, the rock fell. Okay. Whoa. Well, would you look at that? The Omega Metroid, the apex predator of SR388. The Omega Metroid exhibits devastating strength. An impact from its claws can severely cripple or kill large animals, while even the most heavily armored prey are flung through the air. Despite its towering figure, it can leap and use its weight as a weapon. Glands in the mouth ignite its saliva, turning it into an organic flamethrower. Its membrane has greatly thickened. Maximum firepower is strongly recommended. This is the final stage in a Metroid's life cycle, and very few manage to reach it. Its size is a result of the prior form's muscles rapidly expanding to massive proportions. Alright, 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 uh, hi! Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah! Hello, hi, um. Uh, it took off its tail. Ow. <laughs> the leap is knocking me over. That's amazing. It would be awesome if it quit missing! Wait, the back of its head? Or did I just miss? Yeah, okay. Okay. You didn't make it either. Any of you? Uh, the rest of the scientists. The search and rescue team was an elite combat group consisting of heavily armed soldiers. Their mission, locate and extract any surviving personnel from the missing research team. There are no survivors among the search and rescue team. You just hold up with this missile. I guess that, that was your plan. As if they got to you. Okay. Ah. Itchy. I need to take my allergy meds. Itchy everywhere. That's what I get for skimping three days. <sighs> so what's down here? I'm curious. Oh right, those rocks will have moved by now, and we can probably go ahead and save again.
Whoa. All right, and as, as I suspected, the lava moved to stuff. Good. Got new places to go. Hello? Somehow I expected there to be a log for this area. But I guess not. This seems more like something you would expect to see on planet Zebus. Entry. This area is infected, infested with thick globe-like masses composed mostly of crystallized carbohydrates. Those that have yet to harden are constantly moved by the airflow created by the slightest motion of other nearby creatures. Only the most adaptable life forms can thrive in this ecosystem. So everything's made of hydrocarbons. branch there's a branch and there's a branch I guess we'll take this one first <sighs> since we're already here hello Ugh. I am very glad I'm able to sponge up as much of the damage from those as I do. 
Because they are not easy to fight. Also, I do like that they have, like, the weird T-Rex baby arms uh, as a thing that, like, that didn't evolve any better on SR388 for some reason, but later they get... Oh, sorry, carbohydrates. Thank you. Why did I say hydrocarbons? Because I distinctly remember myself reading carbohydrates as well. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, on other planets, when you end up, or planets, in other environs where you end up coming across them, they tend to have much stronger forearms. <clears throat> oh, I should not do this with only this much health. I need to go. save point it's all the way at the bottom of this chamber okay hey there hi you suck you suck every time I have to fight you in every game I have to fight you I hate you so much Omega Metroids suck! jump all the way to the bottom of the pit and get free energy. And that is so much faster. Freaking mosquitoes. Alright, we are just about at the end of this part. Yeah, there's the lava. Okay. We are just about at the end of this. I think I might want to hit that other save point, because I think that's the last save point in the game.
Also, I might have to go look up the uh, fan art of Mother Metroid Samus, um, the one where she's drawn in the style of Godzilla. It's really cute. But uh, it's it's actually a reference to the Queen Metroid in this version of the game. Remember how, um, for those that played Metroid Prime, do you remember the M Metroid Prime's, uh, giant crater? That may not have been indicative of just, like, it being a, a matter of phase on, but actually being a good environment for a Metroid to be in. It's kind of amazing that she didn't end up turning into a queen herself. Like, in some sense, she was. Ugh, oh, bugs. Bugs, why? No, no bugs. <laughs> this is the game telling you if you aren't using screw attack by now, start using screw attack. Blue rocks, blue rocks. Bum ba ba da, ba 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 bum ba ba. All right. Ooh, can I go up? No. What about that one? No? What about this one? No? This is a really nice lead up. So you'll note that as we've gone through most of SR3D8 as well, uh, there's living things everywhere. There's tiny little uh, amounts of like spores and various floating bugs and like moths and birds and there's there's all sorts of life, right? So the last four rooms we went through, not even a plant, not even a single plant, just rocks. Rocks and water. No, I fell. Look. <laughs> So for quite a ways, not a single plant. Hello? Why? You haven't been here. So why were you here out of all the things? Hmm. You never know where you might find a secret. I'm always looking. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that temple. Look at that little... Oh, look at the statue of the Chozo holding an orb. What is this? What is this? What have we found?
No. What? What is this? What is this? What is this music? What have we run across here? What? What? What is this? Yo, oh, hold on. That's been... What has this been this whole time? I've been curious about this one door. So let's... Is it open yet? No, why? Why? It must be after this battle then. Who would have thought that there'd be a hidden door there? Time for the freaky music. Not sure. Let's see here. I guess I'll hit the save point here. But I want to drop down. I'm curious what's down here. surprised by that. Whoa! Ah, okay. Well, that's one thing. Note to self, don't go into the pit. There's nothing else to see but the uh, spot that I found up top. My inherent gamer vision. Alright, filled out the map, saved the thing. Let's, let's go see where the freaky music takes us. And kill the mosquitoes that are attacking my arm. Ugh. We've now gone two and a half hours past where I'd initially planned to, but I'm down for this, like... Oh, what are you? What are you? What the hell? You know what sucks is, like... If, uh, if I were, like, enough of a nerd, I would actually know this alphabet, because this is a one-to-one -one alphabet. That's so cool, though. That... What? 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 Unknown. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, well. This is definitely some new content that's been added to the game since. And I'm here for it. Weird organic pillars. Oh, hey! Huh. Oh, hey! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Eponymous Metroid! Go away! Thank you. Wow, you are a lot stronger in that phase than one 
what one would, would expect. Is there anything I get for destroying all these? Interloper. So we're getting like little little bits and pieces of translation. Suspended above an abandoned city are the remains of a laboratory. Scanners confirmed there was extremely sophisticated equipment to be found, along with scientific data of incalculable magnitude. Only stasis tanks le are left. Organic traces within suggest genetic research and DNA manipulation. Biogenic substances of an unknown age coat the laboratory's walls. Chozo Laboratory. Ah! Uh, leaf hoppers really bothering me. Also, the, the background here? Looking real freaky. Oh, no. Background pulsing with light, yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry for swearing, folks. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay. Oh. Yeah? There's one Metroid left, and things just got angry. Okay. There she is! The only Metroid organism naturally capable of producing offspring. The queen's the heart of the species and the mother of every Metroid born on SR388. Her role in the hive has hindered her mobility, yet encouraged the development of a long neck and massive head to strike at a distance. Her cell structure indicates she is heavily aged, possibly as old as the lab she settled in. The years have reinforced her torso to impenetrable levels. The Queen's genetic coding is distinct from the other Metroids, and she may have gone through a unique life cycle to attain her form. That's still unknown. Ow. Ow. Um... What, huh? Okay. Got them chicken peckings.
Aw, poor thing. Oh, shnikes. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Uh. Oh, okay. She's not trying to get out? Okay. I feel awful fighting her, cause like... Wow. Oh shit. I definitely didn't know like the correct methodology for fighting her initially, but we're gonna give that another try. Oh, my wrists. My wrists. Okay. <clears throat> Whoop, wrong button. Ooh. Let's go fight her and all the other Metroids along the way. Mm hmm. It's a fighter, but it's a doggy dog universe out there. Yeah, I suppose so. Are you kidding me? any other way that I managed to like get my health back after the fact but I think that's it I think that's it okay I'm gonna run back then I'm gonna save if it'll let me which I'm not sure if it will or not okay good sign so far 
Like, it's going to be annoying having to uh, fly through all this again, but I won't have to fight those and, in the process, lose one and a half health bars. It also feels like there should be multiple save points along the way, but I know that that's, like, kind of the point here. And so, in the, uh, the original production of this, if you haven't played the Game Boy one, um, all of this with the missing laboratory part doesn't exist. Uh, all, all that you end up going into is a cave full of very dead things and uh, eventually find no life and no signs of life and then the Metroid Queen. So having the extra backstory where they've talked about the fact that the, the Chozo created the Metroids as super weapons is like really neat to me as like a long time enjoyer of the, of the series. That little extra bit of flavor text just goes a long way for me, honestly. The heartbeat in this place is certainly something. Hey, lady. Right? He's the cutest duck. Yeah. 
Okay. Next. Why? Why did I have to do that? Okay. Is this the part where she eats me? Is this the part? Yeah, okay. <sighs> I know how to defeat her once we get to that, that stage. It's just getting her to that stage and reading the moves. So now I'm able to see that she has an actual up-down, up-down attack pattern, and I'm just expected to use the space jump to, to get over it, but... Oh... I now understand what all you Dark Souls streamers have been doing this whole time. <laughs> all right. Let me have some of my iced tea. <laughs> we'll try again. Okay. Read the telegraph. Yes, yes, I know. See the pattern. Become the Metroid. No, wait, that's dread. Open your mind to the combat cosmos. Look through into the weave and see past the art of the heron. It is kind of cathartic to know, though, that, like, she, at any point, could have left. She just didn't think she was in great enough danger. So she was safe and getting whatever food she needed to, because she got big. Power two of installing Baldur's Gate three. Oh no, I do not have the money to buy that one, but uh, I understand your pain. You located it. Uh huh. Uh huh. You're really good at that, at uh, treasure hunting. We'll say. I also really like the Queen's, like, theme music. It's jammy in a good way. They look kind of tasty, yeah, kind of. She's the prettiest cherry-flavored duck. <laughs> oh no. I missed all of those. Metroid Queen Water Oh no. Hate that. I keep charging and then using the uh, the bombs, which is what gets me really messed up here. Ow.
It also didn't help that I jumped directly into the fireball during that last altercation. Ow. Become orb, hide. Oh. No, lady, do you have to? She really is a little duck. Just giant, terrifying, omni-weapon duck. She is the, the true, peace was never an option, untitled goose game. wrong about the stages. Ugh. Come on, lady. Ugh. Well, speaking of that foie gras, <sighs> that is the canonical way that she defeats her. Poor thing. Uh, all right. No music, no life, nothing left. Dinner is served. And the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. I love little baby. Aw, it's good to see you. The beginning of an era, the beginning of a story. Wow, you just, you just eat everything, don't you? Go, go eat some more of that. Oh, you only eat certain things. Hmm, kind of want to take you with me all over the place now. Huh? Yeah! You go, little guy. Hungry little baby. Why the baby look like that? Because it just hatched! Samus is a MILF. Samus is bird mom MILF.
We have released the Ultimate Warriors. They have far surpassed our expectations, as well as our control. Even so, we are stricken with guilt and grief as we leave them in a universe that is not ready for their existence. Pray for their success. Pray for the safety of all life in the cosmos. That's a lot of carrion eaters now that I think about it. Like, that's a lot. If if a couple of was unknown, yeah, unknown was the legacy message. Um if these are carrion eaters and there's suddenly so many wait, I can stand on them? I could have stood on them the entire time and I didn't even know it. That's so funny. Double the normal length of how one of these, uh, actually triple, because we already had more time into it, I want to say. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Oh. I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting uh, Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion into the community votes. And we'll come back to those whenever folks decide that that's the one that they want to see next. But uh, that was a fun little interlude of, of three nights of Metroid. I had fun with that. Oh, really good remake. Source code reconstruction. Yeah, they they did a lot of work on this. It's a much bigger team than I thought. Missed most of the story. You know what? Uh, here's the story. Samus gets sent to this planet because some scientists were sent to this planet and they stopped contacting the Galactic Federation. So, the Galactic Federation sent a search and rescue team. They also stopped responding. <laughs> so they send Samus. And uh, she finds out that everybody died, and that there's Metroids there, and that the equipment they had and the equipment that she had uh, could potentially defeat the, the, the Metroid threat, but not likely. Oh wow, that is like the worst ending. Cool looking armor though. But like legitimately, that that was the story. This is one of oh, that is so cute. I am saving this image. If it'll let me. Oh, nope, it's gone. The last metric. Aww. The galaxy is at peace. I never would have expected to hear that being done by a femme voice. To be continued. So wait a second. Did the AM2R team ever, like... Hmm... I wonder if they ever attempted to, like, start working on Super Metroid then, because that's the next part in the story. And that's that's something that I've been, like, joking 
half joking about for a long time is I would love to see a remake of Super Metroid done in the modernized style because like yes it is the one that defined all of the others it's the one that like ev all the other Metroids kind of like pulled their their style together from all the later ones and if it were to pick up some of the the extra goodies that they've added in retroactively to her equipment and just more places to go more actual backstory as to what's up with the Rex ship and all that Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool. Why? Oh, why do they name every Super Nintendo game Super whatever franchise name? Hmm. I wonder. Ah, <laughs> uh, this was so good. <laughs> All right, I want to see Super Metal Gear Solid. Uh, show me that. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go over to our our thank you for watching, and we'll turn off AM2R. Make certain this actually saves that I finished it. Cool. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for dropping in tonight. Thank you for all the new follows. And thank you for the raid. And thank you for everybody who hung out in the chat. And for those who are watching in the background. And thank you for everybody who tunes into the VOD tonight. This was an absolute blast. And I can't wait to the next time that we get to do some fun platforming together. Um, if we do, it's probably going to be Cave Story. Because like, that's like kind of where I'm feeling I'd want to go next with, with the skill set that I just re-picked up with Metroid. Because if I go straight back into Super Metroid right now, I'm going to be trying to use the control scheme from AM2R, which is so not the same. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and find out who we want to raid tonight. Forked up Frye. All right, let's send everybody over to Val Dudes. He's got a party going on. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, we're sending you to Cat Girl Eddie because I know that she's got a cooking stream going on, and it's it's very interesting to me. VR technology being used in the physical layer as like a, a buffer is so interesting to me. Yeah, I'm glad you were able to catch the end of that too. This was an absolute blast. Um. And <laughs> I need to do more games like this. I just need to slow down enough to do so. She's in VRC. Ah, oh, no! All right, well, we're going to Valdudes then. To Valdudes it is. Green Glow Dog Raid. Oh, buttons. Buttons. Uh... Have a good night, Amicus. Thank you so much for dropping in. Thank you so much for watching. It was an absolute delight. <laughs> uh, TO3, 3, three. Thank you. Blah! Let's go, everybody. Say hi. Thank you.